DJ Quick was born and raised in Compton. Born and raised. Yep. I know you're from Watts. And Compton. In the Compton area. Mm -hmm. How did you meet Quick? Same way I met everybody else coming up. I met Quick, I think, for the first time at Street Knowledge. Street Knowledge uh, Office. That's Ice Cube's production company that I was signed to that who I got my first record deal through. And that was like over there on, off of Crenshaw and Victoria, something like that, Crenshaw and Florence. <clears throat> and he had popped up there. I don't know if the uh, homegirl Chan, you know, Big Chan, Salute Chan, I, uh, and somebody, I think they brought, brought him up there. He came up there and he wasn't invited, you know what I'm saying? So Cube or whatever, and it was, it was Cube. You know, I don't think he said that right then, but uh, either we was in the back office or something, and like, who who are they? You know, you know, Chainum brought quick up here, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't a, it wasn't a cool thing, or they wasn't sure, like, man, we bringing nobody up here. It was like that kind of thing, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't beef. It was just like, what well, you know, what, what you doing that for? Like, so like, I don't know. If, what they call clout at that back at that time, Chan was always one thousand, so it, it wasn't no clout thing with her. But um, it was kind of shaky at first, like you know, what you brought him up here for? What are you doing up here or whatever? But the vibe, you know, once we we start vibing, you know what I'm saying, was was all one hundred, you know what I'm saying, super solid, cool dude, you know what I'm saying, and we didn't we didn't do work at that point because that's why I was just just getting on with you, but. That was my first interaction that I can remember meeting him. Okay. He was cool, like I said, super respectful, humble, and all of that. He just, he, I guess, Q wasn't sure of what he was doing there or what, you know, whatever. So, but did you eventually do any work with Quick? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, Quick became kind of cool. You know what I'm saying? Super solid. Um, he wound up doing two or three or maybe more records on my album on uh, my second album, which was Made in America. He did a couple of, you know, he did, he mixed a couple of songs. He did, uh, he redid some songs. He did, redid a song that uh, EA Ski from from Oakland did, which was, I think, uh, Who Ride, a song called Who Riding that EA Ski originally produced. So DJ Quick kind of like revamped it, you know what I'm saying? Put some other little instrumentation on it and mixed it. And that's what he was, that was his passion. Like, quick passion was, I guess, like how Dre do. It was just, he'll hear something and be like, man, I can, you know, it, it need more of this and he need more of that. And he'll wind up reproducing the whole song. <laughs> but he was quick and he was talented enough to do it. You know what I'm saying? And then he had a name. So politically, uh, you know, promotion wise, you know, I, I got the benefit of saying it was produced by EA Ski and DJ Quick. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so, um, that was the first, and then we did some other stuff for the homie uh, Mossberg, rest in peace, from, from Campanella. You know, the realist, that was my that was my young bro. You know what I'm saying? He was going to blow. He was going to be that guy. Um, rest in peace, Mossberg. So we was always cool. Um, and, you know, his crew, uh, High C, Croft, and, and Second and None, KK and D, AMG, you know what I'm saying? We was always cool. So we were never on a set tripping and on beef and nothing like that. What is the most memorable project or song you did with, with Quick? Quick? Um, I can't even remember. The one that stands out to me is um, That's that's My Ninja, a song called That's My Ninja. That's, you know, that's on uh, Made in America on my second album. And that second album is when I was, I, I wasn't with Cube no more. So a lot of, you know, a lot of people, was, you know, they understood my position and, you know, they wasn't trying to isolate. They wasn't trying to treat me like I had the plague back then. They understood, you know, why I did what I did and what I was on. So they wanted to come to to my, you know, to support me with, with their skill set. So Battle Cat, DJ Quick, uh, Warren G, I had all three of them as producers on my, on my second album after I left Ice Cube. Um, so <clears throat> it was it was it was always solid. Quick was always solid. You know what I'm saying with me at least. I, you know other people might have whatever, but I don't. I don't have no bad uh, history with Quick. So 
do have you talked to or spoken with Quick as of recent? Uh, what did I see Quick at? I seen Quick maybe a few months ago or earlier in the year at um at a uh, Rants. Fifteen hundred and nothing rants had a, a function. I forgot what the function was for. Uh, Dave Chappelle was there. Angela Bassett was there. Tasha Smith was there. You know, so it was, it was something. I think it was for fifteen hundred and nothing day, or it was celebrating fifteen hundred and nothing day. So I seen a um, quick up there. So he was performing. Like we'll just show up. You know what I'm saying? And, and perform and support. You know the young homies or whatever. So. Every time we, you know, we, we see each other, it's always hugs. You know, he gonna be dancing, he gonna be doing quick, he gonna be he be being DJ quick. You know what I'm saying? Making them making the party crack. You know what I'm saying? Making everybody dance, making them laugh. So, yeah, that's the last time I seen him. Um, we always talk about. Matter of fact, he was in the studio too. With me and Battle Cat when we was doing our uh, our um, out. So he'd be in there, you know what I'm saying? I think he contributed on, on a few things. I'm trying, I was trying to get, it's a record that I'm trying, still trying to get him on for that album. So I forgot all about it. You just made me remember that. Thank you. So yeah, it's Quick always been 100 with me. Well, good, shouts out to Quick. Shouts out to Quick, DJ Quick. And this is another Campaign Trail story. Till next time, peace.